Hello everyone, this is MRS BCH part 1 Unitology revision. So, the question number one is regarding early onset sepsis, and the most common is GPS infection. So, which one of the following is at most of risk? Select one answer only. The first answer. 32 weeks with intubartum antibiotic prophylaxis or 34 weeks without intubartum antibiotic prophylaxis term following prolonged rupture of membrane without antibiotic prophylaxis or term following maternal intubartum hemorrhage uh, intubartum fever with antibiotic prophylaxis term following GPS swab during previous pregnancy without intravenous antibiotic prophylaxis. So I can see here the most right answer is a 34 week gestation, gestational without intrapartum antibiotic prophylaxis because prematurity override all other risk factors, especially without intrapartum antibiotic prophylaxis. Second question is about jaundice. And the question is, a term may be present with clinically very severe jaundice at day three of life. Is it readable? Which one of the following treatment is most likely to increase his risk of chronicters? A decivitrexone or high flu cannula, immediate provision of phototherapy, intravenous saline bolus or paracetamol? The correct answer here is civetrexone. And why zone is because it displays bilirubin from albumin and increases the risk of connectors. Barcetamol is completely safe, but ibuprofen, if we use it, it can, it might, it might lead to connectors. Next question here is about RDS and cardiovascular system disease. Two days old, male infant went to pediatric emergency department because his mom found him gasping, pale, and mottled. He has respiratory distress, respiratory rate of 80, heart rate of 164, sets in the right foot of 70%. He's given oxygen. What we will do next? Blood gas, blood culture, chest x-ray, ECG, move. Of course, we will do all of this, but which is the most to do next. The answer here is to move the pulse oximeter to the right hand and it's actually it's very important because if we found the reduct sets higher than 70% by 3 to 5%, for example 75, 80, we could consider critical cyanotic congenital heart disease and given the prostaglandin at this point is highly important to maintain the duct, which will be like life saving. Question number four regarding interventricular hemorrhage or IVH. Which of the following is the single most important risk factor for IVH? Select one extreme prematurity, low platelet count, mechanical respiratory support, pneumothorax, respiratory distress syndrome. Actually, it all lead to IVH, but which is the most risk factor? Which is the most important risk factor? The answer here is extreme prematurity. And extreme prematurity is the single most important factor, risk factor for IVH and also for necrotizing enterocolitis. Question number five, IVH CP current ultrasound. And it's about the risk of CP and the current ultrasound finding. Question is, which of the following abnormalities in isolation confer the greatest risk of CP in a preterm infant? <clears throat> we have five answers here. Is it anterocystic BVL, grade three IVH, Grade 4 
اي في اتش برينكيمال 1 اوكسيتال سيستيك بي في ال اور فينتركولار دايليتيشن ذا انسر هير از اوكسيتال سيستيك بي في ال اند اكشوالي وي كانت سي كونفيدنتلي ذا ريسك اوف سي بي اور ذس اف وي فاوند ذس ان ذا الترا ساوند سكان ذس بيشنت ويل هاف سي بي وي كانت سي ذات سو But we have large cohort studies which say that neuro disability increase in particular bilateral occipital or parietal cystic BVL. So if it's occipital or it's a parietal cystic, so it's only very high risk of CP and two third to three quarter developing CP. Thank you, and it was the last question, and see you in the next video. Thank you.